Elder F. D. Richards said he esteemed it a high privilege to address the people in Holy Temple. He referred to leaving the Nauvoo Temple. When he was leaving Nauvoo, he remarked to President B. Young, What a pity it is that we have to leave such a beautiful edifice. The President replied, Yes, it is beautiful, but we have the satisfaction of taking the substance with us, leaving behind us only the shadow. Elder Richards dwelt on the honor which was conferred on the elders who were called to go on missions, and spoke on the necessity of the people being one in temporal as in spiritual things. If we did not become one in temporal things, how could we be really one in spiritual things? Good results were apparent from the efforts of the brethren to unite in temporal things, as evidenced in Brigham City, Orderville, and other places. He spoke of the calamity that had befallen the world in being without direct revelation from God to guide in the ways of life everlasting. Saints realized to some extent that darkness of mind is a calamity indeed. Under the directing power of the Almighty, the saints had been greatly blessed. The resources of the country had been to some extent developed, producing plenty and means of comfort in life. He earnestly desired that the practice of the principles of the Holy United Order might increase in Israel.